We chose to study snail kites at Taim Ecological Station in southern Brazil because it is a large protected area which conserves a large portion of the wetlands found in that region. And because of that, there are a very large number of water birds, such as herons, southern screamers, as well as a lot of the shorebirds that uh, migrate down from North America to overwinter um, in this part of South America. The objective of our study with snail kites is to understand how these birds are using different wetlands throughout the year. So these birds move a lot um, during both summer and winter and uh, they go to breed in certain wetlands in southern Brazil in the summertime but then they disappear and they go to other wetlands. The snail kites at our study site in southern Brazil spend much of the day soaring over the water searching for snails and when they see a snail they drop down and pluck it out of the water and take it straight to a perch where they extract the snail from the shell. So the main challenge that we faced in catching snail kites at Taim Ecological Station was getting close enough to the kites, uh, first of all, because they're foraging on snails out in the middle of these large wetlands. So in order to approach them, we have to use kayaks, first of all. Um, we go in two or three kayaks as a team, and we set up a trap on the perch that they use to open the snails. So these uh, kites, they go to the water, grab a snail out of the water as they fly, and they take the snail back to the perch to open it. And when they land on the perch, we have a trap there that lassos their uh, foot, uh, which allows us to approach them and grab them before they can fly away. on dry land, we weigh the snail kite in the can because knowing the weight of the bird gives us information on its health and whether it's in good enough condition to carry the satellite transmitter that we want to put on it. One of the talons on the snail kite's foot has a ridge on it which could potentially be used to secure the snail firmly on the perch while the snail kite is eating it. After weighing the snail kite, we collect a series of measurements on it, such as the length of its bill and talons and how long its wings are. We also look at all its feathers to see if any new feathers are growing or molting. And all this data gives us valuable information on the health of the snail kite. And over time, after we've measured several snail kites, it can give us good information on the health of the population as a whole. We're studying snail kite migration at Taim Ecological Station by attaching satellite transmitters to them. And these transmitters give us a very detailed idea of their migration because they communicate the, with a satellite every two days. So we get data on an almost daily basis on how fast they're moving, where they are, and eventually we can paint a broader picture of how they use the wetlands there as well as after they leave the ecological station of where they go to spend the winter. Searched for nests while we were working at Taim Ecological Station and we found several and that was interesting because it wasn't very hard to find them. We had the kayaks and these nests are placed in uh, reed beds over the water. The nesting season of snail kites in southern Brazil is approximately from October through January and they place their nests just above the water in reed beds. Typically a nest will have 
uh, two to four eggs, and the female will spend uh, much of her time incubating the eggs, with the male bringing food to her. We hope this research that we're doing on snail kites um, will really lead to a broader understanding of bird migration in general. Um, not just for scientists, but for the public, because what migratory birds are doing is linking these very diverse ecosystems, many times hundreds or thousands of miles apart. And uh, they give us a lot of information on the health of the planet in general, because in the end, this data hopefully will provide the information that conservationists and governments need to preserve the environment that we all depend upon.